Hey there YouTube, France Hopper here. It's Monday, April 5th, and today we're going to take a look at the Wise Watch. That's right, that company that makes those ridiculously affordable home cameras, well, they make a ridiculously affordable smartwatch too. Let's see what it's like. So you might be wondering, if I already have an Apple Watch, why did I buy a Wise Watch? Well, like I said, this thing was ridiculously affordable. And by that, I mean $20. Yes, $20. That's it, you know, pl plus shipping. But $20 for a smartwatch? That's kind of unheard of. And... I am a little bit concerned about the quality of this thing because one of the things that they shared in the pre-order updates uh, was why this is actually delayed. This was supposed to come out in, I think it was initially February. Um, they had a construction problem where it, it just wasn't holding up in terms of durability. So, let's see what it's like. I did also pay an additional $10 for a leather strap, uh, because I'm not a big fan of chloral elastomer, but uh, as you can kind of tell there, there's a lot of design cues from uh, the Apple Watch that this thing kind of has. And this is also a 47 millimeter watch face, which is larger than my watch. That's huge. So, let me get some scissors, and we'll cut that open and take a look at what's inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at the watch first, um, because apparently this is actual genuine leather, which uh, I didn't remember it being, and for ten bucks, uh, that's, that's pretty good. So, let's see how this looks inside. Yeah, that's, that's a very Apple-inspired packaging there. So there is the optional band. This does actually feel pretty good. So that's promising. Some small little pegs there. Here's a look at the watch box in greater detail. So for $20, this does a fair amount. Um, but it definitely doesn't do everything that, say, an Apple Watch would. So this may arguably be Wise's fancier fitness tracker, because they also have the Wise Band. So... Let's open this up and see what we have. There it is. Let's go ahead and pull that and put it aside. So we have a magnetic charger here, which kind of reminds me a lot of what my uh, Pebble had when I had one of those. And here is the quick start guide. So. There's how to get started, and whoop. if I could grab this, come on hands, there's how to get it set up. So, let me actually read this real quick, because I need to make sure I have the right app on my phone, and we'll be right back. Alright, so before we activate the watch, let's take a closer look at the watch itself. Here's the default shipping brand or band, which is pretty generously long. There's the back side with the blood oxygen sensor and everything. That's the charging area there. Uh, these little pins here you would slide to swap out the band. Uh, one thing I did actually like about this is inside here you're probably not going to be able to see it too well on camera. And maybe you might see that. There's a tiny little pin there to actually keep this in place. So. Uh, Kudos to Wise for actually thinking of that, because that is one thing that I usually hate about watch bands like these, is they just slide around all the time. So, let me grab an external battery that I can hook this thing up to so we can get it set up. Be right back. Alright, so the quick start guide said to connect it to a charger to activate it. Since I don't have a power outlet anywhere nearby, we're going to use my trusty old Mophie... USB battery pack here. Click the battery pack on. And here is the watch. It said it was supposed to be 
fully charged already, but um, that doesn't look to be the case. So I may have to let this uh, charge some more. Hi, Gigi. I'm going to set this aside and uh, let it get a charge, and uh, once it lets me actually set it up, I'll show the setup. Okay, well, apparently all I actually had to do was take it off the charger for it to show me the QR code to set it up, so let's go ahead and get it set up with the WISE app. Alright, so I have the WISE app here on my phone. Let me wake up the watch again. Hit the plus to add a new device. We're going to add... Let's see, is this considered lifestyle? Yes it is. WISE Watch 47. Enable Bluetooth. Enable camera access, and go ahead and scan the QR code there. Now we're pairing. Allow. And so there is the display. Ooh, I don't think you're going to be able to get a good look at it on camera because it looks like it's got a bit of a flicker problem there. Yes, it does. Well, that's a bummer. Because it's actually pretty nice blue there and some good other hues. Alright, let's tell it about myself. I hate it when you have to scroll to enter a birth year. Like, come on, just give me a keypad. That's actually pretty spot on. Uh, that's close. I will be wearing this on my right hand. Alright, so... Swipe left to see the apps, so there are the apps. Swipe down to show notifications, which obviously there are none right now, and who knows how many you'll actually get with this paired to iPhone. And swipe right to go back. Long press to restart or shut down. And long press to select watch phase. Because you have to push the side every time. Alright, so looks like we have three faces to start. I like that nice and simple one. And uh, yeah, there we go. It is all set up. And it looks like we have a firmware update already. So I'm going to go ahead and let it update, but for now, that's it. There's a look at the Wise Watch. I'm going to give this thing a wear and see how it compares. Thanks for watching.